Hello and welcome to another midweek message. I'm Ray. Now, first of all, weather report. It's dull today. It's 14 degrees outside, which isn't too bad, but no sun. It's all overcast, dull and, I don't know, had a little bit of rain yesterday. But this is the funny thing about Britain. You know, one day it's sort of monsoon rain and cold. You put the heating on. The next day there's a heat wave. <laughs> well, not a heat wave exactly, but you know what I mean. I was looking online as you do, as I do. And someone put a question up, which I thought quite interesting. It caught my eye. What did we have in the 1970s that we don't have today? Now, do you know, the first thing that came to mind was common sense. As I went in to look at the answers, most people had put things like common sense, decency, respect, politeness, courtesy, all these words. I was going to write them all down, but there are too many. That's what the majority of people were thinking. Not material things, or we had this then or that then and we don't have it now. But I found that quite interesting. And it's the same, I don't know whether you watch any of the politics on TV at all, but there's no respect there at all, is there? Do you remember the news in the old days? You watched the six o'clock news or the 10 o'clock news back in the, say, the 60s. There was none of this bias, or well, if there was bias, it was very cleverly hidden. But there was none of that. It was decent news reporting. The same with the politicians, the MPs. They weren't slagging each other off like they do these days. In fact, I was listening to, I forget who it was now, one MP on the telly the other day. And he said he remembers the the days, this is obviously back in the 60s and 70s, when a TV uh, station, say BBC, ITV, whoever, wanted to interview a Member of Parliament, let alone the Prime Minister and just an MP, It all had to be set up and arranged and it was all done properly. You didn't just accost MPs in the street and thrust a microphone in their face and say, what do you think of this? What are you going to do about that? Has it changed for the the better, do you think, or is it worse now? From what I've read uh, online and from what I hear, people don't like politics, so I probably won't be talking about that on Sunday. Might just mention your comments if you do have any. Raise rants at protonmail.com. Raise rants, all one word at protonmail.com. Now, today, my plan was to get the pressure washer out. Now, that's something we didn't do in the old days. We didn't pressure wash our paths and driveways, <laughs> driveways and cars and, and windows, whatever. These days, you see people with a pressure washer, they're blasting everything in sight with high-pressure water. So that's a job I might do later. Isn't it strange? Well, you might not know, but it's strange being retired. The days don't seem to matter. The other day, someone said, oh, it's bank holiday. And I said, is it? I I don't know. It was Monday, bank holiday. Oh, is it? I didn't know it was bank holiday. It's just another day to me, Monday, Sunday, Wednesday. They're all the same. Now, I've had quite a few messages, emails, comments about stories. A lot of you want another story. (laughs) So I'm trying to think back. Uh, I've got lots of stories, but uh, some of them aren't very, well, let's just say some of them aren't decent. They are indecent. No, they're not indecent. They're just not for general family (laughs) family listening. So I'll have a think about that, see what I can come up with. And it will be a true story, as, as I said about the dodgy narrator. Not dodgy, was it? The unreliable narrator. No, it'll be a true story. There's something that I will mention on Sunday perhaps even harp on about several people have messaged me and asked me whether I was stressed as a child and as a teenager and even into early 20s buying a house. Was there stress? Was I able to buy a house? Could I get a mortgage? Well, I've mentioned that, I think, recently. But going back to school days, a lot of youngsters, I say a lot of youngsters because uh, some of them have said that they're still at school. Gary was one of them. He's still at school. And he's asking me about the the pressures of schoolwork back in my day. So that's what I'm going to have a chat about this coming Sunday. I'll do my usual and come out with a load of nonsense and he'll all be dozing off and snoring. But (laughs) I'm waiting for the day as I get older when I'm chatting away to you. And I'm just perhaps gazing out of the window as I am now. And then suddenly, oh, sorry, I fell asleep. (laughs) I shall see you Sunday. Take care. Hope you're well. Hope you're looking after yourselves and not getting up to anything naughty. Those were the days. See you Sunday. Bye-bye for now.